All right, we're going to be making an avatar 3.0 slider. First, we'll select our avatar's base and drag and drop our FX controller into our animator component. Then we'll click the plus sign and add a new layer and name this hue slider and drag the weight to one. We'll head to parameters and we're going to create a new float parameter. And I'm going to name this hue float as well, but you can use this for other things as well, like scaling or emissions. We'll head down to our slider folder and create new animation. I'm going to name this hue slider and I'll drag and drop this into our hue slider layer. We're going to check motion time because we'll use this to scrub across the animation and we're going to select hue slider float to control this animation's time. We'll select our cube since we're making a hue slider. We're using Poyomi 8.0. We'll want to make sure that color adjust and hue shift are checked and we'll want to make sure we right click hue shift and make sure that it's animated so then when we record the animation it will actually take effect in game. We'll head down to our animation and we'll click record and we'll come over and we'll just move it a little bit to the right and back to the left for the first keyframe to record zero. We'll head to one second and we'll slide it all the way to the right to select one. We'll stop recording. We'll stop previewing. We'll select our first keyframe and our last keyframe. Right click and head to both tangents and set it to linear so that it'll smoothly transition across our animation. Now we have a working hue slider. And what we can do after this is we'll head to our avatar's base and we will head down and select our parameters list. And then we'll head up and we'll select add and we'll change the type to a float. And then we will swap the name out for our hue slider. We'll head down and grab our menu. We'll click add control. We'll change this to hue slider and change it to a radial puppet. And it's important that we select parameter rotation here and put our hue slider float in there. And that's how you make an Avatar 2.0 slider. Thanks for watching.